the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 25th day of September, being Wednesday, and we're 25 not that time of the church calendar year too. And then this will be coming from the book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 5 to 9. Our response to Psalm comes from Psalm 119, verse 5a. And also the same comes from Luke Gospel, chapter 9, verse 1 to 6. The theme of our message today is Jesus directed to his disciples. Jesus gave directed to his disciples, which you must follow if you are to be under him. Now, why today? When told that, that Jesus called the 12 together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure all diseases. And then he sent them out to go and be the kingdom of God and to heal. And he said to them, Look at the directions. You are giving them the power, he has assigned them now, he's giving them condition, the directions they have to guide to follow them in their walk. Take nothing for your journey. No staff, no bag, no bread, no money. You do not have two tons. Yes. He said, You don't need the man who sent you no orders. He'll provide this for you. You don't need to carry, start sorting them out, trying to carry them. He'll provide for you. A leper deserves his pay, another test. And whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. Don't move from house to house. That's the directions. Say it again, and wherever they do not receive you, when you leave the town, shake up the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Yes, that's the direct you give it to them. They refuse to accept you, shake up the dust as a testimony against them. You see, the direct you give it to the apostle to go and proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal and cast out demons. And the next step in their behavior, how take the discipline in the wires. So selflessness to serve others. That is the right thing. And what thought the disciples went and preached? The gospel and healed everywhere they went. Yes. Why is this lacking in our days? That we preach prosperity, our benefits, our income. How much we make out of the people without even bring healing to them. And I will bring sickness to them. Without even bring the kingdom to them. That I will preach ourselves. That is the opposite of what God directed the apostles to do for him. Now, why today haven't given us these directives, which is a guide for all the disciples and apostles of God, including me and you? God bring the kingdom of God, bring healing to people. Not sorrows to people. And take the discipline the wines of it. And when the book of Proverbs is telling us today in the same thing, every word of God proves true. Every word of God is true. God, the word is true. From 5 John 17, 17, the word is true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. The purpose with the shield in your word is already sure in every dimension, both spiritual and physical. Do not add to this his word. Lest he rebukes you, he rebuke you. And you'll be found a liar. When you add to that word, you make a liar. Make it, you a liar. Say it as given to you. You are saying the truth. And this is why this person who understood God so much and understand the destruction of God, beg God for two things. Say two things I ask you for God. And ask God the lesson not to deny this God to him till he dies, before he dies. Remove from me a falsehood and lie. Remove from me falsehood and lie. Look at what this man is preaching. When lies of God of the day, when falsehood is your own method of living today. Look at the people in falsehood everywhere. If you will, it becomes the other of the day. If you are not a life person, you are not one. If you are not living a false life, you are not. You, are, you don't really care. You look at man. You don't have structures. 
This man pleaded that God should save him. Remove him from falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor, po nor riches. He wants to be a middle man. Yes, they are virtualized in the middle. Feed me with the food that is needful for me. Yes, I don't need. Give me the food that is needful for me. I don't need extra one. Listen. Least I be fool and deny you. You know, when you have excess, you eat and forget God. Yes, that's what happened. And he said again, and said, Who is Lord? And begin to ask who is Lord. Least I be poor. And he said again, Let me not be poor. And still, and confirm the name of God. Yes. He's only telling God, don't help me to remain in you. Don't allow anything to remove me from you. You see the implication. Hearing the word of God and keep doing it. I was in pleading with God today. And that's the right thing. Let don't let me depart from the doing your will. And that was why the psalmist who understood it so well today say, Your word is a lamb. For my feet, O oh Lord. The word is a lamp for my feet, O oh Lord. The word is the life of my feet, lamp of my feet. Yes, it's a lamp for my feet that shows me the path to tread. We will understand today that the word of God and the writing of God is a path we're supposed to tread. Nothing else, or nothing outside it, but it's what they live, the child of God. And God help us understand this day to be true. Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings, blessings of Almighty God be on our for all of us and will be his disciples by keeping strictly to the directives. Not the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. He be with you all.